Action News spoke with Beverly Garvin. She's a former Detroit public schools teacher who says Penn State isn't the only place where alleged crimes against children are swept under the rug. She says it happened here in Detroit, and she got fired for trying to stop it. Now she's fighting for justice in court. I want DPS to pay for what they have been allowing to happen to children and what happened to me. It happened while Ms. Garvin taught at the now-closed Arthur Fisher School in Detroit. She noticed a nine-year-old student crying. She told me that she had been forced to perform oral sex on two of the fourth grade boys uh, during the lunch hour. Garvin took the little girl to the principal's office, but says minutes later, the principal sent the sobbing student back to the classroom. And I said to her, I said, well, what happened? Did the principal do anything? She said no. So she cried until 3.15, until it was time for the classes to uh, let out. Garvin says the principal told her not to call CPS. The school did not need the attention. She says she did anyways, as required by Michigan law. Her pay was cut in half from 52000 to 26000 She's put in a rubber room. She's suspended. Then she's fired. I really got severely pun punished. I went from uh, living in Gross Point, doing well for myself, and then shacking up with my mother, living in her condo. That was her reward. You know, from the school system for doing the right thing and trying to protect the children. Attorney Tom Pabst helped Garvin sue DPS. A jury awarded her $750,000 in damages, but she hasn't seen a dime. The school system is appealing the verdict. DPS is trying to sweep it underneath the rug or hope that I die where I won't be able to collect what is rightfully mine. She did what Joe Paterno and the people at Penn State should have done. You know, she blew the whistle and had the courage to risk everything, okay? And she paid the ultimate price. She may have lost a lot, but Garvin says she knows she did the right thing by standing up for a child. She hopes someday she gets justice for that and that those at Penn State who ignored the alleged abuse of a child are also brought to justice. The minute that uh, that fellow uh, saw this, this alleged rape in the shower. He should have cried out until something happened then, as opposed to many years later, we're just finding out about this abuse. A Detroit Public Schools spokesperson says that it's sad Ms. Garvin would compare what allegedly happened at Penn State to what happened here in Detroit. He also said her claim is baseless. When I asked why it's baseless, what the school district says really happened, though, he had no comment. He said, after all, as this order says, the case is headed before judges at the Court of Appeals. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.